Algeria's ailing president Abdelaziz Bouteflika has returned to the country after two weeks in a Swiss hospital, state media say. A plane carrying the 82-year-old leader landed at Bouferic military airport near the capital, Algiers, as protests against his 20-year rule continue. Teachers and their students have gone on strike at several universities, with thousands joining demonstrations. They are against the president's plan to seek a fifth term in office. Mr. Bart Flicker has said that the mass demonstrations, which broke out last month and represent the biggest threat so far to his rule, could plunge the country into chaos. On Sunday, thousands of students took to the streets of Algiers, waving the Algerian flag and chanting, Bout Flicker, there will be no fifth term. Many shops in the city have been closed, and Reuters reports that train services have been suspended. On Friday, tens of thousands of people joined protests thought to be the biggest in the capital in 28 years. Riot police fired tear gas to prevent the mostly peaceful groups from reaching a road leading to the presidential palace, and local reports said 195 people were detained by the security forces. Many who demonstrated that day initially gathered at university sites before heading onto the streets. Algeria reportedly has more than 1.7 million students. More than a third of these live on campus, but many others travel long distances to study from family homes. Meanwhile, the Algerian presidency confirmed Mr. Bouteflika, who has rarely been seen in public since having a stroke in 2013, had returned after two weeks of periodic medical checks in Switzerland, state media APS reported. Privately owned Inahar TV reported that the plane had landed at Bouferic military airport but did not broadcast any footage of the flight.